Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Starfield. Let's see here. I could do that, but I think I am going to do the main quest for now. Do I have two of those highlighted? I don't. Okay, good. Yeah, we're gonna do the main quest line. Active sites at your own risk. Crap. Uh okay, so set course. And then land. There's a non-zero chance that this planet once thrived with life. Well, you're oh, back. Amazing, isn't it? Ah, ah, ah. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways. But no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. Ugh. <sighs> Who knows with pirates? Revenge? Peeking at the scraps? Maybe they're from a different crew and we just got hit twice by sheer bad luck. It's not like we were eager to stick around. But we had injured people on recovery and pickup coming at some point. Just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his like he knew this was it <coughs> I started stealing myself to go out fighting then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says stay here Lin I got you hmm. not for them anyway Barrett is more dangerous than you might think next thing I know two of the pirates are dead and he's got the third one in a headlock, drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. Mm. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly washed its hands of this operation. That much is clear. Unfortunately. Oh, it's in the building, okay. Fair enough. I need to go, I guess, over here somewhere. Nope, over here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Is it here? Nope. Well, son of a biscuit, where's the entrance? Maybe that's it right there.
maybe this is it. Oh, it's on a timer. doesn't fit anywhere. Did I screw up? I'm thinking I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, let's see here. No. Where did you learn to pick up? You know what, on second thought, I don't want to know. Audio transmission. Emergency power cell. Nah, I'm good. I'll pass on that. Thank you very much. So, you actually get that computer working again? Let me see that. <laughs> of 
funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay, let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? What? Really? Uh, not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do. But it <laughs> might not be a bad time to think about a career change after... all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help... Mm. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh... You find yourself in need of a capable traveling. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use it. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Crew from any location can be assigned to a landed ship. No assignments, huh? Okay, so she does not benefit the ship any at all. So... Demolitions and outpost. Okay, yeah. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Talk to Griffiths, okay. And in case I ever do build an outpost, it'll be good to have her. Which I may never build one. so much better than Dad's? Like, a lot. luck to be stuck in the same place. Where are we going now? Talk to Griffiths. Wait, what was that around me? Hold up, I'm curious. What is this? Can I have a moment of your time? Thanks for responding to my hail. We've been trying to contact you about your ship's extended warranty. Your warranty coverage has expired. <laughs> Due to the uncertainty of the political situation, <laughs> we think now is a great time to renew your ship's warranty. <laughs> or, a new one if you lack coverage. Oh, they put the meme in here. <laughs> Oh, they put the meme in here. I love it. it. Sounds like you're interested in hearing more. First, I need to inform you about the warranty claims process as laid out by the United Colonies Arbitration Board. <laughs> the AB is not a decision maker and cannot change the outcome of a dispute. Finally, <laughs> claimants must submit the following ten forms of information. Complete contact information, make and model of the ship in question, as well as any modifications made to the ship by one of our approved mechanics. Additionally, we require the authorized servicing dealer's contact information, a description of the issues with your component, the resolution you are seeking, monetarily or full replacement, and a signed copy of our information release waiver. Claimants will also need to submit ship logs for the duration the part or parts in question were used, contact information for the three previous owners, and our customer satisfaction guarantee waiver. May I continue? Ah, <laughs> oh, this is grand. My eyeballs. 
bother me, hold up. Uh, this is mm. It sounds like you're interested in hearing more. We have several tiers of warranty. Please listen closely as terms and conditions may have changed. Our Power Plant Plus plan provides coverage for an essential list of components related to engines, thrusters, and life support systems and starts at only 50,000 credits. Our Diamond Select plan includes everything in the Power Plant Plus plan with the exception of air conditioning and water recycling, as well as defense systems limited <laughs> to non-lethals, as well as bow to stern shield coverage for 100,000 credits. Our Platinum Elite plan includes everything in the Power Plant Plus plan and the Diamond Select plan, excluding thruster bells, but including air conditioning, as well as a personal service agent, and starts at only 200,000 credits. Do any of these plans fit your needs or budget? We also have financing plans with excellent interest rates, starting at 18.9%. Uh, Sounds like you don't have the funds to purchase a plan right now. Please contact one of our agents for information about financing. <laughs> See if I can board them or not. I'm curious. Can I board him? his engines are oh yeah that's right yeah 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 oh this poor bastard I kind of want to board him. I I, I really want to board him. You know what? Let's do it. Ran away. Okay, I see now.
want to fucking board him or not. He is not hurting me very much. See what he. He had no grav drive. How? I took his grav drive out. Or I thought I did. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Let's just go on with the. Let's just go on with it. It is what it is. Landing commencing. We'll be lucky if we pull anything organic off this rock. You know what? <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna go over there first. We're going over here first. Um. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, do I have anything to heal me for that? I'll drink the milk, whatever, who cares. We are going to come over here, because we can. And then we will go over there. Because if I can maybe get a new ship, or some contraband, or some XP in general, because these might be some, um, Bounty hunters after my booty hole. <laughs> Let's see if they're bounty hunters. I don't see anyone outside. Hmm, no one's outside. I maybe see inside of the ship. No. No, okay, fair enough. Oh, so you see Vanguard. Ah. Uh. The UK 
Captain. Oh, they're friendlies. Okay. Make yourself at home, stranger. I'm okay with visitors on my ship so long as you follow the rules. Ah, always good to meet a fellow frontline soldier. That's what Vanguard means, right? Head of the class. It also means you're the one who gets shot at first, but no one ever said honor and valor didn't come with a catch. You're not authorized. Fair enough. So I guess he's the only one on this ship. Yeah, he's the only one here. Interesting. No one's on the port of John, fair enough. Well, I guess we'll just head out then. I did not mean to fall down. Okay, whatever then. You know what? There is an easier way. We'll just do this. There's an easier way to get out. A much easier way to get out of a ship. I think he's ready. Oh, this world's seen better days. I wonder if it's always looked like this. Same one, the exact same one. You know, even though I have that wanted trait, I'm actually quite surprised that no more bounty hunters are coming after me. At all. So, I guess it's not really a necessary trait to have because they don't really... Oh, hey, it's you. I thought you were some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah. Well, he missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I... Ah, 
We pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera. I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. <coughs> Oddly proud moment, you know? So, uh, I guess I'm saying, glad I paid it forward. Indeed. Without your help, we wouldn't have ever gotten this worthwhile addition to Constellation. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Oh, I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these pearly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. Huh. I mean, I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. <coughs> Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. Oh, shit. Yeah. Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was. Smiling like it was just another day on the job. Mm -hmm. You missed the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt. And you weren't even awake to notice. Man, he did the little finger gun thing. Well, no, I don't think so. I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favored his left leg a bit, you know? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <clears throat> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him. Then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good... <clears throat> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh... uh I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Optional. Recruit him as crew. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Phew. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? So, how would he benefit my... He does not, okay. You got it. Catch you on the <laughs> flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tackle. Listen to emergency transmission number two. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot. Could you move your arm a little bit to the left? 
I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination. Probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Hmm. Well, I wonder where he was taken to. Travel to Bessel 3. Oh. Fair enough. All right, we're going here. Starting landing procedure. Nice. I can see through the ground. I love it. Um, what do I have on me that I can put away? I don't know about you. Oh yeah. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. I Happy wonder. to even out the load. Yeah, so he does not have armor. So I will give you this. And then I will give you that. So long. And that will help me out a little bit. Yep. Cool. So what can I store now? Wire spool. Um can store this. Can sort of this and of this. I can drink that one. Does any of this have weight to it? No. Okay, cool. Um, I could try this gun out. Yeah, I can try it. I'm not going to use this. I can just get rid of them. But they don't weigh much, so... No. I want... I mean, this one is stronger. So, favorite... Here. And then I will honestly just not use this one at all because it's not automatic <coughs> but I want to make a save how does it work Oh, as long as... Okay, so it's... Semi-automatic, but not. 
how it works is you press and release and it fires that's how it works so this is me pressing the trigger releasing the trigger okay that is different so you press and release the trigger and it fires. That's interesting. So it's still semi-automatic, but it's not. It's... It fires when you press the trigger and then when you release the trigger. So... That's actually quite cool. I like that. A lot. 27 caliber. Okay. Ahoy, Captain. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. What is that thing? Oh, wow. I think these are, um... Don't bother searching this area for survivors. I heard the Crimson Fleet rarely takes prisoners. Yeah, this is Crimson Fleet, um, Crimson Fleet. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. Always looking for the next mic. That's a Beowulf. Oh yeah, that's a Beowulf. <laughs> Do you see really think Sistef scares us? Um, I don't know. Can I modify my suit any? No, I don't have anything on me. That's right. I have nothing on me, so of course not. It's going to suck trying to get oh, him yeah. out of here. There's no certainty to the universe at all. <laughs> Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? No. A drum beat, huh? Eh, yeah, I have one that's time. better. Hmm. Let me think. Unicorn. Not Wait. Kodama. That's a rifle? That's a freaking pistol, dude. How is that a rifle? How is that a rifle? Yeah, with the magic on thing? Come on. Was King Arth? Holy shit. You actually found me. I wish I could say this is the first time this has happened with Barrett. But, well, it isn't. Well, this is turning into a regular Constellation party, isn't it? I should have bought drinks. Matsur the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Both escape artists. Being captured by Sistep myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. 
See, that's what I like about you, Matsuri. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? We do have some <coughs> insurance set aside for this exact problem. Does that mean you'll be paying me, Miss? We don't need to be introduced. Here's your money. And we would appreciate it if you could spread the word in the Crimson Fleet that Barrett shouldn't be harassed. It's not working out for any of us. That's a fair point. But I can't control a man's reputation. Do what you can. A suggestion to the right ears can work wonders. Hmm. Very well. Goodbye to you all. I have enjoyed this little exchange. See you around, Metzer. Uh, I mean, well, you know, hopefully not. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Remember our last conversation? Hmm. When you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. Arja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Uh. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. Uh, no, it's fine. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I didn't mean to compare. Those were just... Oh, I don't know. Different times. <laughs> Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation, and took me under her wing as her protégé. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know, Aja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. But it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Yeah, you know. Being alone in interstellar space, nothing but light years of black around you. Some people find that terrifying. I find it hmm. comfortable. It helps me bond with my shipmates. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You know. All this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. I respected her, and I considered her a dear <coughs> friend. But we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit, and I could make proper introductions. Parima 2, huh? Well, I don't expect <coughs> you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well... <laughs> That's what intrigues me about you. Hmm. I... 
I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Okay. He's free to go. Our business is concluded. See yourselves out. I've got nothing to say to you. Matsur is in charge. Yep. Uh, have a more credits. Who said that? You're lucky the boss is so generous. You? Yep. Nothing. Matsura's in charge. I'll give you a hundred credits, and if you're out for good, I mean, I mean, you know. I don't mind helping you get out of this line of dirty work. Not one bit. Oh. 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 Eh. Plus 10.02 for five minutes. <laughs> I'd laugh at that. Oh. Never mind. I mean, it has the chameleon stat on it. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that again. <laughs> hey, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Does this count as moving? Apparently not. This is gonna make the game so much better. Oh man. Mm mm mm. I lose defense, but I gain sneaky. I gain a, a stealth boy. <laughs> I gain a stealth boy. All right, now let's not do that one yet. Let's go ahead and do this one. To get this shit moving. This is United Colonies Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. <laughs> scan complete. Go ahead and land. Star Station L0868. You need the eye. Got your ping loud as a bell. Eyes ready to let you aboard. <laughs> Seals are good, air pressure good, and we're docked. Let's board the eye. How can I be of service, Captain? Cool, we can walk around it. This is nice. <laughs> we can see the different ships, too. That's cool. Airlock.
Mm. Cool. Ah, oh. of course they had to make it to where we couldn't walk around the whole thing. <coughs> That's a shame, but it is what it is. How many of those do we have? 35. I should probably get more. Oh, and there's my ship right there. Cool. <laughs> Crew quarters. Well, then let's go pilfer. I'm disappointed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The only place I found where that you can do that right, uh, at that is awesome. Yeah, can I? Hold on, I wonder. Nope. Okay, I cannot sleep here. Fair enough. Personal grimmer. What else is here? Oh, hello. But I can't flip that one. Why? That's not what I wanted. No. No. I'm looking around for stuff that I can, you know. Okay, well, let's just, you know, move on then. All right, what do you what do you do, buddy? We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Glad you two finally have a chance to meet. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together, but I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. 
Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. <coughs> you won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but... We all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Show the words and the eyes seen usually doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? Still need to lift another set today. Been dragging. Shoulder stiff. Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair. Like the whole mm. settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. <laughs> That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough. But the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners. And I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. Hmm. Raise the thoughts with you later. Okay then. Well, I am going to go ahead and put a cut in the video here. If you all enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.